Mom, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> hey everybody, Fat Bird Finds here. This is Laura and it's a state sale day. Mom's with me today, so she's not gonna let me get her on camera, I'm sure, but we got our numbers, 45 and 46. It's this house right here. And it's supposed to be some beautiful things. So um, we think it's gonna be super pricey. So we didn't get here at the crack of dawn to get the first numbers, but they let the first 25 in. So we should get in pretty quick. Sorry about the traffic noise. It's a really busy street actually in little old Southern Illinois. But uh, anyway, we are gonna try to get in. The lady's already fussed at me this morning. So I've got my <laughs> juices going. She told me that I couldn't take mom a number in the car and then she changed her mind. So <laughs> anyway, let's get in here and see what they got. Okay, so this is directly inside the doorway. The very first thing inside the doorway, there's a beautiful like a Victorian light fixture. But these poodles were on my list of things to look at. The owner must, I bet, I bet they owned poodles because she collected art and um, figurines and stuff that where the subject was poodles. I love that little guy. I think he is an Arnhart one with the spaghetti. So cute. There's a little Avon poodle, but um, I'm going to skip him for now because we've got a whole bunch of other stuff to see in this house. Did you see the old radiator behind? Look at that. Isn't that cool? So I picked up a couple of other poodles. I did get this guy, and then I got the little fun little salt and peppers down there. Um, those are just for fun. Those are so cute. Okay, but we gotta keep going. We gotta keep moving. Got mom with me, and we're only right inside the front door. This is the rest of the little foyer area. Um, there's mom in the plaid shirt. We've got our bags. You guys, I forgot my Ikea bag. Mom said, ah, eh, we're probably not going to find anything. We start finding things right inside the, the, right the, right inside the door when we first start, get started. So I was glad I went to the Dollar General and got those totes before we went in while we were waiting in line. The art in this house is spectacular. Um, we are in Southern Illinois and this is the home of a prominent lawyer, um, woman lawyer, and she just recently passed away at a relatively young age, just in her sixties, I think. She was a collector. Um, there's beautiful things everywhere to look at. And so we're going up the staircase now. <laughs> It's a tight squeeze. Excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> but yes, so just so you know, we you saw that our numbers were 45 and 46. So basically right now, look how crowded. Basically, we are passing the people who were here when it opened. Um, they've let, you know, they let us in a group at a time. But I think some of these people are still the original uh, shoppers. You probably saw um, right behind me right there was the Mrs. Beasley doll. Does anybody remember that from Family Affair? Mrs. Beasley was the name of the doll. I think they're collectible. I didn't see a price on her. I went ahead and picked her up and put her in my bag and I'm going to take her downstairs with, with us and ask. We are winding around the upstairs. Look at those two beautiful matching portraits. I love those. This is in the bedroom area and they always, at this particular estate sale company, they always set up the tables of linens like this. So I love to look at those. There are some Afghans down here. <laughs> you saw the lady in front of me. She just picked the good ones. But I did actually get one and look, $3. It's a bargain and I like those sunset kind of colors so I think that one's really pretty there goes the Mrs. Beasley doll in the bag 
Spoiler alert, I don't take her. I found out she was $75 when I got downstairs. I felt bad for carrying her around for a few minutes, um, but I couldn't find the tag anywhere. And then he told me $75 and I was like, oops, that's just a little, a little too steep. He said, are you sure? Cause you know, they sell for a lot online. You guys go ahead and look them up. The comps were not that good. There was a couple of good comps, but probably pristine condition. And um, even though she does have her glasses still, she's really not in pristine condition. So I did pass on her. But I got some linens. I picked up a few towels, a couple of these pink vintage towels and that sunset afghan. Uh, Mom didn't find anything in this room until um, she turned around and looked and she did find this purse. She went on to the next room, but I thought that looked just like her, so I picked it up for her, and uh, she was happy because she came back to get it, and it was gone, and she's like, did you see that purse that was sitting there? And I was like, oh, I got it for you, <laughs> and then I picked up that little clutch for me. It's a cute seller. There she, there, here she comes back <laughs> looking for her purse, and I was like, oh, yeah, I got it. So yeah, we're shuffling around and uh, she is thrilled to get her purse and we had to restuff our bags. She had just gotten pillows in this bedroom. Um, that's mom grabbing the tag of this little tufted footstool for $25. And then I found the pillows that I liked right here and they were cruel, um, embroidered butterflies and then this is a totally cruel pillow here isn't that pretty we will sell those in a live sale i think those are adorable if you're interested though in anything that you see here in the video that we've picked up you can always email and ask us at fatbirdfinds at gmail.com it's the best way to buy something look at that bonus elephant telephone <laughs> They have every nook and cranny, every closet, every bathroom staged with things to sell. Uh, this is no exception. This is the bathroom upstairs. There's a beautiful spool cabinet back in there. It was a price about $600. And then in this linen closet, look at this beautiful set of Red Wing uh, Pompeii pattern uh, mid-century China set. Isn't that cute? adorable? I mean, I love that set. Look at those lines. There's the salt and pepper. There's um, there's all kinds of serving pieces. That was well worth the money. I just, you know, don't really, didn't really have room for it today. And then right across the hall, another beautiful bedroom. That was a gorgeous chase lounge, but it was already been spoken for. Mom was checking out the pillows. Um, hiding back here though, there's this little mid-century looking, um, vinyl footstool. So I went ahead and picked that up. That's available at Layman's. I don't think that would be easy to ship. So you'd have to come by Layman's and get that in person in Paducah. Mom pointed out that beautiful Waterford crystal lamp. And then there's a whole, uh, wall here of portraits of women and uh there was a gentleman in there that was a friend of the family and he said that this lady was a huge collector of um artwork featuring beautiful women so these are lovely and really at only 45 dollars a piece um i thought they were a steal we don't have a whole lot of wall space though at Layman's and um, so mom wanted to keep looking and uh, was interested in a few other things, but aren't those gorgeous, you guys? And then in this bedroom closet, there were um, vinyl albums, books, and things like that. Look at this Annie Leibovitz book, a uh, coffee table book and the Condé Nast one. Um, I did snag that Annie Leibovitz book, so maybe we'll get a peek of that here in a little bit. Uh, the lady of the house, so to speak, um, there's her name right there. She actually uh, stitched this huge sampler. 
you can tell that's very 80s. You guys see the hearts and the like the country primitive motif. Um, and also just the fact that it's counted cross stitch. That's 80s in and of itself. I did my fair share of counted cross stitch. <laughs> so yeah, interesting, right? <laughs> we all have our hobbies, but here, there's one more look at that pretty portrait wall. Gorgeous. Now we're downstairs. I didn't um, take video going downstairs. It's very, very crowded, but this is a back room across from the dining room. I don't know originally in the house what this room would have been. Maybe kind of a butler's pantry, actually. Um, but there's a forbidden stitch. Um, very pretty. I think mom ended, ended up picking that up. And um, there's a whole, here's a whole display of just clear crystal, um, kind of everyday use kind of crystal. Those can candle up, um, candlesticks were $10 a piece. And that big painting was beautiful, wasn't it? But yes, yeah, so this is all the, you know, like the party serving dishes, um, all those kind of pieces that you would entertain with. The furniture in these rooms um, had their tags pulled, so it had been sold by the time we got there. Look at these beautiful bronzes. Aren't they great? They were all, you know, 250 up to $500. We don't uh, deal specifically in art, so... Um, we didn't delve into the bronzes, but I sure like to look at them. They are really, really pretty. Another huge painting. Uh, this one's $950, I think it said. Gorgeous. Love the size and shape of the, this painting. And there's the bronzes again. The little 30s art deco girl there was gorgeous, wasn't she? They've staged all of the uh, Asian-themed items in this back room, um, but they had some room to spare, so they, here's a few shelves um, of just a mixture of things. I'm sure that were collected all through the house. Um, you'll see right here, I love these. These are Howard Pierce quail, and those are collectible. Howard Pierce Pierce pottery, very mid-century. Um, you see three uh, pieces there. One of the little chicks is, is broken. But look at this, you guys. Guess what this is? Home co. Put it in your home. Got us a piece of home co. That masterpiece series um, of animals, they're all very pretty and they sell really well on eBay. So I went ahead and picked that up. And look at this Hollywood Regency light fixture. $65 though, so there wasn't really any room there um, to resell, but isn't it fun? Across the hall, here's the dining room, the proper dining room. Big pretty pieces of art. That one in particular I loved. That small square one, it's $800. I think I show it up close uh, later on. There's a Waterford uh, desk set. Mom loved that, so she snagged that for layman's. Um, such a popular crystal pattern there. You saw it, um, the Fostoria American pattern. But, oh yeah, there's my painting. Beautiful. It was actually not my painting. I didn't get it. But what I did get was this. You guys look at this. I fell in love with it. Isn't it crazy that dining room was so traditional? But we'll talk about more about that piece later. I did get it, so I'll show you at the end of the video. That, look at that big blue urn. Not everybody's cup of tea, but you know you can appreciate the beauty of some of these pieces. You don't see something like that every day. More beautiful artwork. She was definitely an art lover. So we've been all through uh, the house. 
we got lots of cool things that we liked and we're gonna show I'm gonna show you at the end of the video um, these are the last few little looks around the living room area again by the time we got back through and down to the living room it had been picked through again I thought thought these were beautiful they just were a little bit over my price range but I did like those a lot um, mom and I had a great time. We did like, um, go move the car and come back and take a last loop through. But when we did that, I did not take my camera and we did pick up a few more things. And so we're going to show it all to you here in just a few minutes. As I show you these last few pieces, I want to talk about the butterfly uh, mid-century modern artwork that you saw in the dining room. That's going to be the first piece that I show you in our hall, and it is really spectacular. You guys, I was so pleasantly surprised. It is, I think, an original C. Jerry art piece. Look at the enamel butterflies. Um, when you look that up, uh, you see several pieces um, that have been for sale. And look right there, it, there's the signature C. Jerry 71. I know some people say C. Jer, um, but it is uh, two men, Curtis and Jerry. And they, you know, revamped the spellings and combined their names, you know, to make the name of their company. Very sought after mid-century modern artwork. Um, and you know, we're probably not going to ship that, but we are going to be at a pop-up sale at, uh, Thrift or Junker Vintage Hunter in Indiana. So if you want any information about that, just give us an email, fatbirdfinds at gmail.com, and we will tell you how you might be able to purchase that little beauty. It is gorgeous. Here's our haul. Uh, we did also go to an antique mall. That might be for another video. That's where that milk glass came from. Look at that piece, though. Look at that cute little party light piece. We found that on the way back through. We made another trip through after we paid. <laughs> There's the Howard Pierce, Pierce quail. And this grumpy puppy. He made it home with us. Isn't he cute? Love him. Yeah. Um, it, in fact, if, if, if there's any of this that you're interested in, you can email us at fatbirdfinds at gmail.com. It's the best way to buy something. And we are happy to work with you and shoot you a price. There's the poodle that we brought home with us. Um, behind the poodle, you can see the three different... Um, Milk glass pieces. So milk glass is making a comeback, you guys. Now that I'm picking it up whenever I see it. We got these really pretty uh, hobnail swung vases here. Couldn't leave those behind. And there's mom's forbidden stitch piece there. And pretty little brass lamp here. You can see the derby hats in the background. We're in Western Kentucky, so we do pick up horse-related items, big hats for derby hats, especially for this time of year, April and May. That's derby season here in Kentucky. Look at the lamb. That was somebody's little friend, and um, we picked it up in the garage. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. We just sold that in a live sale, actually, you guys. It brought about $30, so he found himself a new home. I was so happy. Here's a pretty set of prints. Um, those would be beautiful over a large, like, doorway set of four. And then Mom found these little bells. They're Royal Bay Ruth, and they are the days of the week. So that one was, what did that one say? Sweeping. And, you know, one day was ironing. One day was cleaning. <laughs> There's the ironing day. And so, yeah, she sold those immediately. 
I was like, good call, Mom. Those are so cute. Okay, so I think that's going to do it for us today. I'm going to wrap up here as you look at the rest of our haul. Again, if you see anything that you're interested in, go ahead and email us at fatbirdfinds at gmail.com. It's the best way to buy something. And uh, we will let you know if we still have it and shoot you a price. We do try to go live every Friday night. Um, we do miss a few here, here and there. But for the most part, we are live on Friday nights on our YouTube channel at 8 p.m. Central. And we have just a fun conversation. We have games. Um, we have great vintage conversation and we also have a vintage live sale so some of these things you might see come up on the friday night sale so join us for that you won't be sorry it's a, it's really a fun time look at those cruel pillows by the way aren't those adorable those are so great anyway Thank you so much. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. It helps our channel grow. It doesn't cost you a penny and it just really helps our channel so, so, so much. We appreciate each and every one of you. And we want you to come back and check us out and be sure to stay tuned to see just what Fat Bird finds next. And we will definitely see you on the next one. Bye, everybody.